Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Guerrero. Leal. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Ronaldo. Can he put them in front? Fractionally offside. Cristiano Ronaldo. Chance to finish. And there it is. Living history. The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup final. Incredible celebrations. Well, as you can see, this is absolutely brilliant. He's such a good runner with the ball. And it's a great individual goal. Brilliant from him. So Brazil will get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they come up with a quick response? And foul it is then. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Guerrero. Rafael Leao. Guessing forward. Ronaldo. Shot attempted. Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Take him on, take him on. William Carvalho. Here's Bernardo Silva. Ronaldo. Oh, big opportunity. Possession one. So, getting close to the half-time interval, and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half-time if it stays like this. And Portugal moving the ball with purpose. Ronaldo! Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. Goal! So underway once more. 2-0 the lead here. Down. Number seven. The electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. And a tidy challenge. Oh, what an opportunity. There will be a can he three find the net? Oh, and he goes. Now he has his hat-trick. Special moment for him. Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? Goal! So the action continues. And Portugal very much bossing the proceedings here. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And off and running again here. There was a real golf in class in the first half. Will we see an improved effort from Brazil in the second? Showing a real will to win the ball. Neymar. Casemiro and a tidy tackle
Vinicius Jr. And he's dispatched the header. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. William Carvalho, Ruben Neves, Pepe, Bruno Fernandes, it's with William Carvalho, well that's how to do it defensively, Casemiro there, well that's how to put in a clean tackle, and it's Gabriel Jesus, and Neymar, and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And take it away. He won the ball. Ten minutes left for play. Silva. Joao Cancelo. Ronaldo. And now they have the ball back. Well, no danger now. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. Victory more or less guaranteed now. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. Not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe, now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today.